Views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio. Psychic Answers and Spiritual Solutions with Psychic Visionary and Vibrational Healers, Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans, where you can call in and ask about your chakras, aura, and spiritual DNA. Tune in and discover the energy that is contradictive to your path of wholeness. Get ready to meet the most important person in your life. You. You. Well, hello, everybody. I'm so delighted to be here. You're listening to Spiritual Diagnostics, and this is your host, Carol Dorian. Today, we are going to be discussing letting in. We're going to talk about letting in the desired energy, the results, desires, and outcome that our mind, our body, and our spirit is craving, what it is that we want in our lives. So many times we focus on letting go, and this is a very important step. But then we have to come to an understanding of, by letting go, What is the benefit that's going to be obtained? And that is letting in. Letting in is as important as letting go. And one cannot be done without the other. Your mind, your body, and spirit are like a storage space, if you will. And if that space is packed with a bunch of stuff that you don't use anymore, you have no room for anything new. You cannot fit that new experience. You cannot fit that new relationship. You have no room for the new job because you cannot access the new confidence, the new focus, the new direction that you need to see yourself in. So this is unfortunate because sometimes the very thing that we are desiring is the very thing that we are keeping out because we simply have no room for it. So we've become emotional pack rats, if you will, storing and harboring every experience that cannot take us anywhere but backwards or stuck in the middle. So in today's show, we're going to be discussing what are the steps to letting in. We're going to be discussing what is it that we want to let in, and what is the spiritual method of creating that space to allow in new experiences. For those of you who are listening, if you desire to call in, ask any questions, or shed some light on our topic, feel free to do so. And for those of you who would like to call in after the show, you can do so at 312 898-2285. You can log on to our site, spirituald.com. For people who are going to be calling in during the show or after the show, you're going to receive a free of charge spiritual diagnostic with a full life reading. So we'll get back to our topic of letting in. The first three responses of the aura that have to be accessed and prepared for letting in are accepting change, releasing fear, and allowing things to happen. So let's talk about the accepting change. So many of us have been through experiences and situations that were unfortunate, whether it was through our love life, through our childhood, through relationships with even our parents, 
we've gone through certain situations, certain things in our life that we're holding on to, and this is blocking the portion of the aura that accepts change because we start associating that change with pain. And even if the mind is saying, I am ready, the spirit and the energy field, the aura, is resistant to the change. So if you're resisting the change that you desire, it does not quite enter in. So it's the accepting of change. If you're finding yourself at a place in life at this time where you're saying things are very different, the way I'm living, the circumstances around me, anything that's happening around me is not what I'm used to at this time in my life. Sometimes you may want to embrace that, but you just are not sure how to embrace the change. Sometimes we do not want to accept the change because it's uncomfortable. When the spirit is going through the battle of acceptance, this is where we are blocking the flow of blessing, the flow of the new experience, the new relationship, the new people, the new connections that we are meant to invite in and bring into our life. Whenever the spirit and the mind, and they usually are, going through a contradictive stage of acceptance, it creates a vibrational frequency that says we have no room to let in our desires, to let in our blessings, because we're having a very difficult time processing what we're going through, and what we've been through. So this is what cuts off that whole vibrational frequency of letting in. And I'd also like to touch on the releasing of fear. In order to let in a new experience of light and love of any sort, whether it's in your living space, whether it's in your marriage, whether it is in a brand new relationship or being able to even receive the connection to have a new relationship, fear must be released. When we are harboring and storing this fear, whether it is due to something we have been through that we can remember or something that we cannot remember that was even as early as conception that we may be receiving from our parents. The fear factor creates a residual block that says there is no more room. And this is where we're not allowing the flow to happen in our life. So I'm going to take all of that and just try to sum it up so simply Part of letting in is clearing out the negative residuals that are binding. They take up so much space in the aura. They take up so much space in the mind and physical body that we cannot let in the joy, the prosperity, and the fruits of our labor. So many of you have been doing spiritual release work meditating, understanding your karmic lessons, reaching a place where you say, I've learned this lesson and here I am, open to receive, yet it's not coming in. The reason for that at times is that the portion of your aura that is supposed to open up to receiving, it's the opening of the receiving field of the aura is still blocked with the residual of the experiences and some of them are subconscious and it is not allowing in your desire. So 
the three steps we're going to be touching on to let in the energy. How does it work? First of all, we need to identify the energy that we need to let in. The second portion is having the courage and tapping into the worthiness to say, this is what I desire to let in. And then the third step that we will be touching on is allowing your desires to come into your life without making the connection of comparing them to the past experience, which taints our blessings to be viewed as emotional liabilities. So some of you might be listening to this saying, I am so ready for change. I'm so ready to let the love of my life in. I'm so ready to move. I'm so ready to live in another home. I'm so ready to start my own business. And in that readiness, we're going to discover what it takes to let it in. Is the readiness in the mind and meeting the spirit and the aura simultaneously? Is it just in one portion and another portion of it is being blocked? We're going to be taking a short break. And when we return, we're going to talk about identifying that readiness and seeing if your mind, body, and spirit are in line to allow the flow of newness and desire in your life that you have been working to create for so long. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will be short. We, I'm sorry, we will be back after this short break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Ness. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Are you feeling stagnant or blocked in your love life, career, health, or finances? Experiencing difficulty focusing or setting and achieving goals? Tune in to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio with psychic visionary healers Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans. Discover the cause and effect of unwanted patterns in life. Tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit spiritualdeed.com. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Welcome to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat Basile, the host of the Dr. Pat Show, and I am so thrilled that we've created this venue for all of you out there. Dr. Pat Basile will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. What we have heard is that you want to ensure for us 
that we keep positive, holistic, uplifting, transformative talk radio on the air. We're excited to bring you the contemporary conversations about Lyme disease. We promise not to let the light fade on Lyme. So fasten your seat belts. We've got lots more to share with you in the weeks to come. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio with Dr. Pat and help keep our mission strong on TransformationTalkRadio.com. And we are back. I'd like to thank all of you for listening to Spiritual Diagnostics. This is your host, Carol Dorian, and we're talking about letting in. So for those of you who are listening, if you have any questions, feel free to call in during the show, give your opinion, ask questions. We welcome you. For those of you who would like to call in after the show, you can do so at 312 898-2285. Again, that's 312-898-2285. You can log on to our site, spirituald.com. For anybody who calls in during the show or after the show, you're going to be receiving, free of charge, a spiritual diagnostic and a free full life reading. So getting back to our topic of letting in, ask yourself, what is it that you desire to let in? And then ask yourself, how long have you been desiring that? The next question that should follow is, what do I feel is stopping it? from coming in to my life. What do I feel is not allowing me to let in? And when you get to the last question, you will be surprised some of the things that will come to your mind. You should first get into a very quiet place, whether it's in the morning or evening, the best time of day for you to unwind. Place a sheet of paper in front of you. Hold your pen. Close your eyes for a few moments and ask yourself these questions. And when you come down to the question of what do I feel is stopping me from letting it in, from letting in my desire, the love that I want, the home that I want, the friendships that I want, wherever, whatever it is that you feel, Write it down and really look at it, really reflect on it. And sometimes you will find that you may have something written down that seems so off, so different than what would come from you. Something You may find yourself reading something and looking at it and saying, that doesn't even sound like something I would say. Because sometimes it is not something you would say. This is the pre-planted vibration. This is the vibrational frequency that you've received from someone else or from another time in your life. From a time and place that you are no longer in. And these, this is what's called the false vibration. These are the false vibrations. So it's very important to identify the false vibrations. When we are working through opening the receiving field of the aura, the first portion that we work on is silencing those false vibrations. So by knowing what you have the power to change, you will know and recognize the false vibrations and that they are powerless. And this is the first and foremost strongest energy that stops the letting in process. Because some of us are so tuned in to a voice, 
a vibration and a frequency that's feeding us the wrong information. And usually those frequencies and those vibrations are caused by past experiences that have been disappointing. So this is where you're stopping the letting in experience because in order to let in, you need to hear from the present moment to be able to accept that there is a brighter future moment. But if you're hearing something that has been stored that you've been through, that you're no longer going through, but the energy of it is defining you, it's defining that space of the aura. And this is the opening and receiving field of the aura. This is where the work is applied. This is where the energy clearing is applied. Because when this particular space is full, this is where that letting in becomes difficult, tedious, or viewed as just impossible. So let's go over again what stops the letting in. It's fear, and it is false vibration, and it is false, or excuse me, unrealistic expectations of self and of others. Let's start with the fear. Fear of failure, fear of repeated pain, fear of rejection. So let's go into that. If you're feeling that allowing a new experience in, and I usually refer it to relationships because this is the strongest point of letting in, is it starts through people. If you're feeling that there is a fear of failure in letting someone in, it's usually looking at it to the point of why go through the emotion, why go through even the good times because it's going to lead to heartbreak, it's going to lead to unhappiness. And this is a false vibrational frequency. Not everybody that comes into your life not every situation that comes into your life is going to emulate the past. Once you create that space, you're going to draw in the type of relationships that you desire. And if you find yourself at a place that that's not happening, you need to touch the part of yourself that you can send a message to. And that message needs to be, I am open to let in without comparing new situations to past experiences. And so many people have a very difficult time doing that. When I'm working with someone who is feeling blocked from letting in new experiences into their life, what I'm doing is I'm taking them through a meditative stage where we are asking the spirit, what do I desire? What change do I desire? Where are my fears at? And what exactly is it that I feel that this change will bring me? As we do that, and as we open the energy field to the opening and the receiving field, you will come to a place that you find that what you feel you deserve may be two very different things than what it is that you feel that you desire. So I'm going to say that again. What you want and what you feel you deserve may be two very different things. And this is where we adjust the aura to agree with the desired happiness of the heart and support it versus agreeing with the false vibrations of unworthiness. Once this space is created in the aura, there is an automatic flow of receiving. 
there is an automatic flow of joy, happiness, bliss, and fulfillment. So for those of you who are listening to this and saying, I have been ready to let it in. Your heart may be ready, but your aura may be keeping a certain portion of your blessings out in a certain area of your life. And that is because the mind knows that it needs to be ready, but the aura still may be reserving that space for painful past experiences that no longer serve your purpose, your path, and your fulfillment. If you are listening to this right now and you have any questions about your aura, about the energy that you're holding on to, and what needs to be done for you to let that new energy in, feel free to call in. You can call in after the show at 312-898-2285 or log on to spirituald.com. So let's move down to letting in and allowing the first portion of accessing the receiving part of the aura is allowing. You are in control of everything that you allow into your vibrational circle. So when you find yourself in a place of focusing on what it is that you do not have in your life. You must find the time and the space to say, I allow this into my life. If you look over a certain portion of your life and you're saying, this is where the hurt was, so I'm going to close this down. You may have done that a long time ago and you may have done that in a time and in a space where you were really going through your situation, really going through that emotion, and you may not remember that you've sent that message. So it's time to take that moment to send that vibrational frequency into the spirit to say, I allow the love, the peace, and the joy that I deserve and desire. Allowing is a very important part of letting in. But there are people, there are those of you out there who are saying, I allow it, and you still feel that it's not coming in. And for those of you who are allowing it, manifesting it, and doing the work, and still not receiving the benefit of your desire or or receiving the desire at all. That is where your aura is containing a residual that is not allowing that receiving field to be activated. Sometimes it is just a matter of activating the receiving field in the aura. And this is where I work one-on-one with people who are going through this so that we can touch that portion of the field in the aura to send the message directly into it, saying, I allow love. I allow advancement. I allow leadership. I was working with a lady, wonderful lady, still working with her. And she was going for a higher position. And she was saying, I know that I know how to do this. And I know that I can receive this position. I know that I can move up here. But something inside of me feels like I should not allow this. I shouldn't go to this level because I feel like once I'm talking and once I have to communicate with more people on a higher level, that I'm not going to be taken seriously. So that experience is preventing the letting in. And in that case, we worked to release that false vibration. And we send the message to the field of the aura 
that is connected to the receiving. It's the receiving field of the aura. The message that we send through mantras and meditation is we are ready and we are allowing our desires to come in. So many of us are saying, no matter what steps I'm taking, I find myself back to where I've started. I'm finding myself back at the beginning. You couldn't possibly be really back at the beginning because each time you're repeating a lesson, you're really repeating it with more knowledge and more ability. Now, you may be repeating something that you do not need to be repeating anymore. You may be at a place where you've surpassed the lesson and you're repeating it, but you're never truly back at the beginning. It's just a matter of the receiving field of the aura getting that message that the space is cleared out. And sometimes the only way that you can get that message is through a direct method that is applied to the field of the aura that allows in your new experiences. So if you are at a place that you're ready to move through it, ask yourself why you are not. The memories that are associated with divorce, abuse, verbal, emotional abuse. Sometimes it's not physical. The memories that are associated with feeling powerless at a certain period of life, even though those situations are gone, if the vibration is still there and it is sending you a false vibration, that that is the present situation, again, that closes the field. It closes the aura because that portion of your energy has become very occupied with sorting through a situation that is no longer in your life. So it's taking up all of your space. There's no room for anything new. And you are finding your spirit becoming in a place where it's looking at new experiences as emotional liability. So this is where the sorting needs to come through, where we are taking the time through the meditation to sort out what you have been through. This is the lesson of the experience, but the experience is no longer here. It comes to understanding that the lesson is retained, but the experience of it is released. The vibration of it is released. And then ask yourself, am I at the place and at the stage that I am truly ready to allow the change? So many people that go through difficult times in life must go through a grieving experience, but light and dark cannot be occupying the same space at the same time. So the portion of letting in, the time and the place of the spirit that says, I'm letting in, also has to recognize the season, that you are no longer in the season of the past. You are no longer in the grieving season. You are no longer in that time of separation. You are in a time of connecting. You are in a time of discovering. You are in a time of joy, happiness, and an open heart. Because the dark portions of life, we all have them, but the dark portions of life, must come to a time and place that they are no longer defining the aura and the energy field. So this is where the spiritual method of opening the receiving field of the aura separates the dark energy from the energies of light, the grieving energy from the energy of rebirth and creating. When these two areas try to reside in the same place, they cause 
an energy block. It's like a roadblock, but it's something that you can't drive around. It's something that you can't walk over. It becomes so enormous, it is a wall. It is stopping that field and that portion of the aura from allowing, again, the desires and allowing change, allowing things to happen and flow in your life in the way that you desire and have worked for. So for those of you who are listening, if you desire to call in, feel free to call in and ask questions. If you would like to call in after the show, please do so at 312-898-2285. Again, that's 312-898-2285 or log on to spirituald.com. We're going to be taking a short break and when we return, we're going to be discussing more about letting in and freeing the space of the past allowing that space to contain the present and the future. Are you anxious, worried, or insecure? Hi, I'm Dr. Friedman Schaub. I'm the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution. Join me for my next breakthrough video seminar, which starts on September 10th. This program has helped thousands of people worldwide to overcome their struggles with anxiety, and I'm certain it can also help you. If you're ready to be free again and have a stronger foundation of inner peace and confidence, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. There are so many resources out there for meditation. But did you know that Atana's Heart Earth Healing Meditation is available for you for free? Yes, that's right. You can receive this free healing meditation today from Atana Badili. All you need to do is visit his website, atanamethod.com. That's A-T-A-A-N-A method.com and sign up. You will receive your free meditation instantly. That's atanamethod.com. Are you anxious, worried, or insecure? Hi, I'm Dr. Friedman Schaub. I'm the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution. Join me for my next breakthrough video seminar, which starts on September 10th. This program has helped thousands of people worldwide to overcome their struggles with anxiety, and I'm certain it can also help you. If you're ready to be free again and have a stronger foundation of inner peace and confidence, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence, and Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. We are back, and it is wonderful to be here. You're listening to Spiritual Diagnostics, and this is Carol Dorian. And today we've been talking about letting in. And I am aware that we have a caller. I'd love to hear from our caller. Caller Donna, you are on the air. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. That's okay. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, thank you. Is it possible to ask a question, well, thank you. or is it, do you want me to do something related? Oh, could to you what speak up a little, Donna, so that we can hear you? Okay. 
Yeah, is it possible to ask a question, or does it have to be related to what you're talking about, or? Oh, you can ask anything that you would like, Donna. I was just looking for um, uh, just some. I just wanted to ask a relationship question, if that was possible. Okay, I'm so sorry. Is there any way you could speak up? It's it's very difficult yeah. for me to hear you. Mm. But I, I just wanted to ask a relationship question, if that was possible. Absolutely. Go ahead. Um, I've been seeing this man named Chris for the past um, couple of months. Um, I'm just wondering if you see that continuing. Okay. And this relationship has been going on, you say, for a couple of months, like two to three months? Two. Okay. You know, the voice vibrations that I'm picking up from you are insecurity, communication barriers, and I do feel difficulty when it comes to connecting. Do you feel like when you're with this person, there seems to be something as good as it can be, like there's something definitely missing between the two of you? At times, yes. I'm sorry? Yes. Okay. Can you see a familiar pattern between this relationship and the last, Two relationships prior to this relationship? Yes. Okay. Because the vibration that I'm picking up is that you're storing a vibration of familiarity. And it and it is a negative one. There seems to be something in your energy field that is drawing in a relationship that you constantly feel that you have to work very hard to hold on to and constantly prove your worthiness, are you aware that you're doing that? Um, I'm aware of it happening, but I'm not meaning to make it happen. Right. You're not meaning for it to happen, but you can feel that it's happening. You know, this lines up very much today what it is that we are talking about, and that's letting in. I feel that there is a vibrational frequency in your aura that is still holding on to residual of past love relationships and it's drawing in the exact type of situation. I feel like you are in this relationship feeling that you have to prove yourself, feeling that you have to really extend your self in every way, even if you're not receiving the communication and the happiness that you desire. I don't feel that this person truly is making you happy. I don't feel that this person truly brings you fulfillment. I feel that it's more about having the person in your life than it is about what the person is actually bringing into your life. Does that make sense to you, Donna? Can you feel that? Yes. Yes, he hasn't been communicating for the past um, week and a half, and I'm just wondering if you see him um, communicating with me again and not seeing each other? You know, he is going to, but I do feel, and I don't want to say what it is on the air, I I feel two very strong personal issues that are going to be causing difficulty, not just in this relationship, in other relationships as well. I feel that there's something that's blocking you from letting in the flow of a healthy, positive connection. But to answer your question, he is going to contact you, but I do feel that there's something you need to know about this, and it is personal. So what I'm doing is for anybody who calls in, During the show or after the show, I'm giving free of charge a full life reading and I'm going to be picking up the vibrations more thoroughly with you of what it is that's going on. Would you like to call me after the show so that we can get into more detail? 
about this yes. because there is definitely there's definitely some things that I'd like to prepare you for. Do you have a way to take down my number right now? Yes. It's 312-898-2285. Did you get that? Um, 312-898-2285. So 312-898-2285? That's correct. And you can call in after the show, and I'm going to touch on the two personal situations I'm picking up on. But here on the show, what I would like to tell you is that There is a side of you that is not allowing in what it is that you desire in your relationships. There is a portion of the receiving field in your aura that's shutting out the healthy relationship that you deserve and that you desire. Do you kind of feel blocked, like maybe you don't know where it's coming from or exactly what's causing it? but you feel like you're just stuck in this area and that you're repeating a cycle in your love life? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is going back to a vibration that has not been released in your aura. This is going back to an energy that it is time for you to release so that you can let in new energy. When that space is taken up by something past, whether it's a vibration or an experience that has created the vibration or both, it blocks the aura from receiving. It blocks the energy field from letting in what it is that the person is desiring. And I feel that this is an area that you have repeated the same situation with three different people. The person that we're talking about now and two other people, I feel that these these three relationships are very similar. And even if you've learned, and I feel you have learned a lot, I feel that you've come to a lot of realization and you've reached a certain level of awareness within yourself about these situations, but even though you've learned that, the vibration of it is not being released from your aura. And when you're holding a vibration... It becomes a magnet that pulls in the same thing just through different people, through different situations. Can you feel that? Can you see where that has happened in your life? Yes. And can you see where it's usually coming down to the uncertainty of where you stand in someone's life? Yes. So the two things that I was picking up on that we're going to be discussing after the show have to do with where that is stemming from, where that is coming from. Even though we've identified there were two relationships prior that followed into this pattern, there was something that goes back even further than that that is storing that vibration and causing that repeat of energy. So it's time for you to do some letting in. It's time for you to allow your spirit, your energy, and your life to say, I'm ready for a relationship and a person that gives me the love and the respect that I am capable of giving. Because I do feel your voice vibrations. I feel that you do give. I feel that... You are a good communicator. You communicate from a place that's true, but you hold back. You alter some of the things that you want to say, and a lot of that has to do with a lack of confidence, feeling that you're going to lose the person if you speak things exactly the way you want to. So you speak truthfully, and you speak from a place of the heart, but at the same time, there's something that is blocking you that is not allowing you to have and receive the energy that it is that you put out. 
Yeah. Can you feel that and make that connection? Yeah. Okay. So I look forward to talking to you after the show to touch on exactly what the origin is of that energy. Yeah. Okay. So Did like you have anything like, else? Just, um, like, do you see this relationship continuing with this person? I, I feel, I feel that it will, but I feel that there's going to be a lot of breaking up and getting back together and communication just stopping. And there's a reason for that. So that's, that's the part that I want to talk to you about personally. That's the stuff I want to talk to you about when, you know, we can have a private conversation. You're going to go through a lot of challenges in this relationship. And I can already feel why. And those are the things that I'm a little reluctant to talk about on the air. So make sure that you give me a call after the show and we'll touch on that. What, what time does the show end? You can give me a call in about 15 minutes. 15 minutes? 10, 10 to 15 minutes, yes. Oh, that, that would be great. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that very much. Oh, you are so welcome. Thank you so much for calling in. Uh, thank you. Thank you for spending the time with me. My pleasure. I look forward. Okay, I'll speak with you in 10 minutes. Okay, dear. Thank you. You're very welcome. Have a blessed day. And so this is what we are talking about. Letting in. The caller who called, I feel that the vibrations that are around her are vibrations of love, vibrations of light. I feel that she is a person who has so much to give but is not receiving what it is that she brings to the table, not receiving the love, not receiving the communication, not receiving any of the vibrational and emotional harmony that she is capable of sharing. So when we're talking about a situation like that, it all comes back to letting in. It all comes back to allowing. And for those of you who have been listening to the show, if you are at a place in your life that you are ready to let in your desires, you're ready to let in the love, the peace, the happiness, and the advancement in your life that you so deserve and desire, and you feel that there is something that is blocking you, something that you have not released, a vibration, an energy, or an experience that is contradictive to you letting in what it is that you desire and deserve, feel free to call me after the show and receive your free full life reading at 312. 312- Eight nine eight two two eight five. That's three one two eight nine eight two two eight five. Or log on to spirituald.com. Again, anybody who has called in or called after the show, I would love to spend time with you, giving you a full life reading, touching on the vibrations of your aura, helping you to discover what it is that you need to let go of so that you can let in what it is that you're desiring. It was so wonderful talking with all of you today. I'm sending out peace, love, light, and blessings. Every locked door in life does have a key, and you are the holder of that key. It just comes to a place and time in life of being able to access it, find it, and use it to open the doors of peace, love, and happiness in your life. You've been listening to Spiritual Diagnostics with Carol Dorian. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Namaste. You've been listening to Spiritual Diagnostic Radio, Psychic Answers and Spiritual Solutions with Carol Dorian and Suzanne Evans, Diagnosing the Spiritual Cause of Unwanted Life Patterns. For more information on your favorite healers, visit spirituald.com.
and tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio to receive your weekly dose of enlightenment. 